Rebirth Medical School, where we're rebuilding the world one medical student at a time. I'd like to tell you about our innovative new zombie-based learning curriculum, ZBL. Before the plague, medical students had to practice on real people. Can you imagine? How gross. Learning how to be a doctor by operating on the living? How old-fashioned and inefficient, especially in a world where the undead are piling up. We decided to make use of the undead to build a new curriculum to help our students learn. Let's go see what's happening in the Zombie OR today. Welcome back again. We've been waiting for you. You have the adsus tissue forceps for holding skin, a needle holder for holding the stitch, some mayo scissors. So we're going to start by making a knot at the far end of the wound. Hold the needle like this, 90 degree angle, about two thirds of the way back from the tip. Pick the spot where you're going to go. It should be nice and deep in the tissue, well below the skin. Pull your wrist back a little and then drive the needle through. Release the needle and then use the forceps to pick up the needle again and then pull the stitch through until there is about 10 centimeters left. You can drop the needle now, but be careful not to poke yourself. Take the suture and loop it around the end of the needle holder two times going clockwise. Now grab the free end of the suture and pull it through the loop. Once it's tight, make two loops the other way and pull it through again. Lastly, do another loop the same way as the first and pull that through too. That's a good knot. Next, we're going to bring the suture up into the incision again. The first step is to take the needle again and bring the tip out right at the end of the wound, just under the skin. Now we're ready to run the suture along the edges of the wound, just under the skin, in the subcuticular layer. Turn the needle so it's parallel to the skin and take a bite just under the skin. You can hold the skin with the forceps to stop it from moving and to turn the edge out a little. Bring the needle through, grab it with the forceps, and pull the suture through. Now, remount the needle on the needle holder and do the same on the other side. Put the needle in just opposite to where the stitch is coming out on the other side. Put it through, grab it, and remount the needle. We're going to repeat this all the way along the incision to bring the edges together. Remember the needle should be right in the subcuticular layer, not deeper in the fat, not so shallow that it comes through the skin. If you see the needle come out through the skin, you are too shallow. A great way to speed up is to remount the needle as soon as it comes out. Don't pull on the thread and take the next bite on the other side right away. If you do this several times in a row, you will cover a lot of ground and then when you pull on the suture, the incision will close like a zip. Okay, so how do we finish the closure? As you reach the other end of the wound, keep sewing until your needle comes out at the very end of one side, and then take the last bite on the other side to come out at the end too. Then do the same knot we started with. Two forward, two back, one forward, and you're done. And of course, we don't need to remove these. They will dissolve for themselves. As you can see, zombie-based learning is helping students learn while reducing the number of the unsightly undead. Please call the number on your screen. <laughs>